hello beautiful people once again you are welcome back today remains 27 january 2021 wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day okay so i have this update to share with you guys but uh, first of all i don't know how to say it sometimes i i think nam dikanu should be a spirit okay that is how i see him the reason why I'm saying so is because um, he has become a thorn in the flesh, especially for the Nigerian government, like serious. Now, the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum have asked the president, President Buhari, to immediately arrest the leader of IPOB, Mazin Namdekanu. I will tell you the reason, but before then, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever i publish a new video like this for you guys all right without wasting much of your time so like i said according to arewa youth president yerima shetima we all know him um he said the nigerian government should devise a means to arrest and repatriate kanu to face his trial Already we know the background details of uh, why Namdi Kanu is not in Nigeria, so I really don't want to go into much details, okay? I want to update you guys what is going on in Nigeria. So he accused uh, Namdi Kanu of taking advantage of the unemployment rate in Nigeria to recruit people and instigate them against other Nigerians. Okay, so what really got my attention? okay let me go down i will tell you what got my attention so in his words in quote he said um in a normal society that rabo rouser who claimed to be a leader from nowhere should not be taken seriously but unfortunately for us we have a society with a high rate of unemployment bad economy and high rate of crime so it's easy for Kanu to recruit people and instigate them against innocent Nigerians. But I know his days are numbered because this can't continue. And as far as I'm concerned, I have never seen him as a serious human being. Nigerian government must devise a means through Interpol to get him arrested and made to face his trial. Okay, guys. Um, this is so so funny okay just like i said in the beginning why is uh, namdi kanu a subject to a lot of people in nigeria i really don't get it i believe uh, he must be reacting to the clash between the eastern security network and the um, nigerian uh, nigerian military okay that happened um was it yesterday or day before yesterday all right we remember what happened in Imo State. That is Olu. Okay, up till now, uh, people see it as a massacre. Who ordered the operation? I mean, when I saw the video, like, serious, if you see the way the military were on the ground with their guns, as if they are fighting war. I mean, they were kind of so serious to the stage that, ah, ah, these men, are you fighting war? Yes. It looks they were very serious. Now, what causes such operation? Who caused, who ordered the operation? That is something uh, everybody seems not to understand up to this moment. Okay, so the update we have is that um, the Imo State government governor, um, Hobo Zodima, has um, imposed a curfew in 10 local government uh, in Imo State over that um, all new clash between the military and the uh, Eastern Security Network. All right, so um, keeping that aside, I believe I should react also uh, to what Shetima is saying here. Now, this is um, the same people that believe that the present administration is the best ever since good luck, Jonathan. Yes, but now these are the same people, just like what the Lai Mohammed said a few days ago that uh, security in APC administration is better than what they inherited during uh, good luck Jonathan administration and the way people abuses that man I don't know if that man usually goes through social media to see 
the way people hate him the way he talks how i'm not trying to call him a liar but if you think he's a liar let me know on the comment section below i don't want to abuse any elder all right but let me know what you think the way lai muhammad speak on the media sometimes i look at the man anytime that man speaks i i don't like seeing him talk because i get that i get angry and i get aggressive anytime i see that man talk on the media all right so um, according to Lai Mohammed, they said the insecurity now is better than what they generated in 2015. Now, this should prove him wrong. If you believe that the insecurity is better uh, than what you inherited, why did the president change his service chief? Okay, after a lot of cry from Nigeria, change the service chief. I don't really think people cried like this during Good Luck Jonathan yes he did the right thing i believe he changed his service chief like twice or so or more than that he changed like twice or or three times the passenger also changed his service chief but Bari was retaining his own so he we believe that uh insecurity was better during good luck jonathan why did the president change his service chief yesterday yeah if that should be the claim let us look at the truth and say it the way it is so Shetima now have admitted that there is no job, no employment in Nigeria, no insecurity. Yes, that is what he's saying. That is the reason why Mazin Namdekanu is using the opportunity to recruit people. He's even doing them. Uh, 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 why did Nigerian government not recruit them? Because I believe those people uh, that Namdekanu recruit, I don't think they are hungry. Because if they're hungry, they wouldn't be among the Eastern Security Network. I believe uh, Namdi Khan is taking good care of them. Of course, that is one of the benefits. If we want to look at it that way, how do you expect people to stay hungry and they see a recruitment where uh, one another will enter their pocket and they refuse to get recruited? Who does that? Nobody. If the Nigerian government have no security, the Nigerian government have no job, uh, they don't have any good economy. Why are you complaining? Why is Namdekanu the question? Why is he a thorn in the flesh to Nigerian government? Let me know what you guys think. On the comment section below, I quickly wanted to update you guys um, the statement of Arewa Youth Consultative Forum President Yerima Shetima calling on Nigerian government to arrest the leader of IPOB, Mazin Namdekanu. See you guys in.